Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another exciting episode of Top Rope TV. This is Alan Fenstermaker, your host, and um, before we get started off, let's take a uh, brief word from our sponsors. Okay, folks, let's get started with this week's episode of Top Rope TV. This week, we bring to you CCW Classic Championship Wrestling put together an amazing show. So, without further ado, let's get right to that, that show. Thanks to Rob Noxious for allowing us to come up and, uh, and film the show and uh, to cover the, sh the show for Top Rope TV. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CCW's How About Some Hardcore. I'm your host, Marvelous Mike Dalton, alongside me, my broadcast partner and colleague, Rick Smooth. We got Malcolm King coming out of the ring. That is a big man to throw over the top rope. Jay Johnson coming in next. Adam Rose. Big Adam Rose, man. Can't sleep on this guy, man. You never know who's going to win these Battle Royals. Nope. The Golden Child, Colby Conrad. Then you got the Golden Child, Colby Conrad, yeah, making his way to the ring. Colby Conrad. And please welcome to the ring, Adina Steele. Whoa, we got Adina Steele. That is one beautiful woman, Mike. And she's one heck of a competitor, I'll tell you that. Alright, we're gonna get this action started. I'm excited. Off. Over the top, Royal. And periodically here after a couple minutes. Battle we're Royal out. Ring Action here minutes. live at CCW. Are you ready? You know, these were always my favorite kind of matches. Like, oh, I love Battle Royal. I said, are you ready? You never know who's gonna win. It's like seeing a brawl in a back Let's alley. Ring the bell. Yo. Here we go. It's like a wrestling free-for-all. And here we go. The bell is rung. Let's get it on, fellas and lady. What do you think is going to happen here, Like, Who's going to go after who? I don't know. It could be an all-out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, they're attacking Malcolm King. Smart move. You gotta, somebody's got to get this big guy over the top or he's going to dominate this match. Oh, and he pushes them all off. Great. Great offense oh. by Malcolm King. And he throws. Oh, he almost got him out. Oh. He almost got him out. in the corner, out. pulls the shirt up, and he's going for the chop. Oh, shot hurt around the world. He's chopping on the golden shot. He's going to do it again. Oh, one more. He can't see. Oh. oh. Vicious chop to the chest by Malcolm King. You could hear that all the way down in Mississippi. And they're taking the boots. The big Adam Rose. Oh, it's gonna Look, it looks like a, it's, oh. a, it's a chop buffet in, up in this ring tonight. What do we got going on here now? Another That's chop by Malcolm the, the King. Golden Child trying to throw big Adam Rose Who's out of here. Of, yep. Oh. Shot to the oh, Adina Steele receives a form. Try to throw her out. No success. Adidas Steele hanging with the fellas here in a big brawl. Oh, and the she gold, out. 
No, the feet. No. Oh, no. she's out of here. She's out. Nita Steele's been eliminated. Whips the golden child in the ring. A big splash by Malcolm King. Oh, look at this. Whoa, B.J. Walker. Wait a minute. Wow. Chris Banks. Banks. B.J. Walker. That's Mr. No Limits, Chris Banks. Look at this. Look at this. They're going right after the big man. Here comes Adam Adam Backlund. Adam Backlund and Mr. Ping. Mr. Ping. Up. Oh. Up, oh, one half of the Pony Express. Now, this will be interesting to see how Adrian Bliss does in there without his tag partner. You know what I mean? This He's a tag team wrestler. Maybe he'll team up with somebody in there. Oh. Alliances are always forged in Battle Royal. Big right by Chris Banks in the corner to Malcolm King. Adrian Bliss shuts him down. <laughs> oh. BJ Walker throwing him right head first in the turnbuckle. Big rights. That'll get you some stars. Oh. The big man goes down. Yeah. Malcolm King and Mr. Ping going at it tooth and nail. Ping's throwing some vicious Oh, vicious elbows. Elbows the side of the head. Oh. Adam Backman. Getting some axe hand handle smashes the back of the head. Oh, Adrian Bliss. Adrian Bliss is like a cat in there, isn't he? Vicious chops by Adam Backlund. Oh! Oh, vicious clothesline by B.J. Walker. And Adrian Bliss getting thrown over the top rope by Adam Backlund, but there's no success there so far. They got the big man wobbled, and Adrian Bliss out. No, no, no his feet, feet did feet not. Stood. Nope. Both feet did not hit the ground. Whoa, wait a minute. Is Malcolm King out of this thing? Or he went through the middle rope, didn't he? Yes, he did. But you know what the, the stipulation says? You have to go over the top rope in order you to You guys eliminate. want some more wrestlers in the ring? Yeah. Adam Backlund. Oh. Up and over. Adam Backlund has been eliminated. Get out of here. Now, be Dream Bliss in the corner. Double axe handle. General Kiesel. General Kiesel. Who also happens to be managed by Z Cobra. I don't see Z Cobra with him today. Excuse me. Jay Johnson now coming at Chris Banks in the rig with a couple. Right hands, forearms, and face. Don't stop anyone. I don't care how big you are. I don't care how trained you are. Forearm to the face will stop you right in your tracks. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, he's working on. General Kiesel getting a beat down by Mr. Ping. Oh, another. Oh, vicious chop to the chest by Mr. Ping. And now Malcolm King with a vicious chop. Oh, vicious forearms by Chris Banks. I, I see Stefan Ramon in there too now. Wow. So the So you got the Pony Express in there. Yeah, Adrian's still in there, right? Yeah, there he is. Big right. Oh. Got some heavy hitters in there, man. Oh, uh, and look at this guy coming in right now. Is that another a, heavy hitter? Is that Mal Havoc? Big right by Jay Johnson of Chris Banks. Vicious forearms. Oh, oh, vicious chop by Mr. Ping. They heard that one in Japan. Oh. oh. Another elimination. Nothing like a good battle royal to start the show off. It's like a free for all at the bar. Oh, oh. chops him down. General Keys were working on Mr. Ping in the corner. And looks like Malcolm right King and Mal Havoc. Malcolm King's trying to eliminate Mal Havoc. Right, the two big guys going at it. They should have formed an alliance and taken out everyone else and worried about that later. But sometimes when you're in there, you just, you know, it's hard to gather these kinds of uh, strategies. You're out there uh, in survival mode. It's like the unstoppable force meets the unmovable object. A lot of guys in there right now. And it's getting kind of chaotic. 
Oh, brother, it is. Oh! oh! Trading blows back and forth. It's like a slugfest. Mal Havoc and uh, the Golden Child. This is tough by Malcolm Jing, man. He is not giving up, man. This guy is relentless. Excellent show so far by ah. Jay Johnson, but he's now been eliminated. Chris Banks working on getting... Mal Havoc now. Oh, this is chopped by Mal Havoc. Double chop by Malcolm King. Mr. Ping. This is forums of General Keys. Oh, and this is chopped by Mr. Ping. Chris Banks now working him over. Double team him. Him and Mal Havoc both. Double team effort. That could be it. That could be it. Is he out? Is he out? No. Whoa. Oh. What do we got here? Oh. Big man versus little man. Little man's taking it to him. And we got Isabella in the ring. Don't want to see this. Malcolm King going upstairs now too. Ping's got it. Oh, the this is tough by Mr. Ping. Oh, Isabella oh. Work, working over Chris Banks. Oh, <laughs> Stefan got one in the kidney. Oh, there. smashes his head right in the turnbuckle. Oh, oh. Chris Banks viciously. Oh, Isabella retaliates. Blows my mind nowadays, like you see women just getting hit in the face, it's a and they don't even get face up. anymore. That's how tough they are right now, 2019. Wow. Sometimes the women are tougher than the men nowadays. This is true. This is true. Don't, don't underestimate wrestling. women in the ring. Never. Someone's out of here. I just saw a body go flying. Oh! Bulletproof Dorian Black. This is one of the biggest giants I've ever seen in CCW, and he is no joke. And Shango working over Ping right now in the corner. This is choked by Shango. What an exciting way to start off the card tonight. I'd say so, because this has been a really, really great battle royal. An all out battle royal. Oh. Oh, right over the top rope. And he's out of here. By the biggest, one of the biggest guys. Oh, in there. vicious hip toss. General Keys on the corner with Mr. Ping. There's a lot of tough guys in there right now. Like, I mean, I, I, who's your pick in this one? Who are you, who are you go with? Is going to take it down? I I would have to go with uh, Bulletproof Dorian Black because he's one of the biggest guys in the ring right now. I mean, you know. But then again, I could be wrong. Well, I'm always rooting for the underdogs in battle royal stipulations. Isabella so. taking the boost to General Keysel. Well, I know Chris Banks could be somebody who could take this down at any time. I don't want to underestimate the guys like Stefan Ramon, Mr. Ping. Uh, they could very easily take this down as well. This is true, because you always expect the unexpected, like I said. Yeah. Some of the littler guys are a little more mobile, you know what I mean? Some of these big guys, yeah, they could throw a lot of people out, but... It takes a good three or four. Top shelf Tyler Sims has been eliminated. Smaller guys to throw out one of the bigger guys. You know what I mean? Oh! General Kiesel has been eliminated. Dorian Black stalking his next victim, man. He's going right after the step. Bomber Ramon. Uh oh. Isabella attacking a giant. Doesn't look like a good idea. What's he going to do to her? Oh, Throws her right in the corner like a rag doll. Uh, he's not done with her either. Oh, he's choking out Isabella. The the what's she going for here? Somebody should stop this. Right oh. through the middle rope. Through no the middle rope and though. outside, outside the ring. It's no good because she did not go over the top rope. Boot to the not face. The yeah, this this Dorian Black man, he is no joke. Oh, Chris Banks, 
out of here. Oh, eliminated by Dorian Black. Get him out of here. Stefan Ramon working on Dorian Black, but he pushes him off. Mr. Ping, boot to the midsection. Oh, vicious forearm. Another low blow to the midsection. That was more to the neck, but yeah, he was kind of a kind of a throat chop. Oh, oh vicious one at that. Mal Havoc working over. Up, oh, Dorian Black. Oh! What? Giant on the outside. Oh, Dorian here. Black is gone. Stefan Ramon with the big drop kick eliminating the monster. Well, you got another big man in the ring. Mal Havoc. Two, three. Oh, oh Stephon. Stephon Ramon. I don't know. I think he's trying to play skin the cat. Let's see if it works. Isabella. She is taking the fight. Hey, man. Uh, let's pick Mr. Doing. Ping. Oh, oh boom to the midsection of Mount Havoc. And Stephon Ramon, it looks like, has been eliminated. Isabella laying it in. Giving him the beat. Oh, this is chopped by Isabella. Mr. Pig now going to take over. Kind of a double team thing here. Oh! Shot heard around the world. Pig now on Isabella. Is he getting ready to set her up? Oh, no. she, oh she ducks. Oh. This is forearm to the face by Isabella. Another one. Headbutt by Mr. Pink. Oh, stop. And Mel Havoc plays one in two. Oh, this is formed by Isabella and a chop. Working over Mr. Ping pretty good there. Oh, oh another chop. How many have we got in there? We down to the final four, right? One, two, three, four. Mr. Ping, vicious chop. Here comes Pig off the ropes. Mr. Oh. Ping has been eliminated. He was one of my wow. wow. Looks like, well, looks like your uh, prediction was wrong there, Rick. Big splash by oh. Mal Havoc. Oh. Looks like an offensive lineman right looks there. Like Look he oh, he misses right into the, right into the corner. Uh, Mal Havoc's on the floor, but he's not been eliminated. Oh. Isabella. Isabella is open fire on this guy. She's about to get rid of him. Wouldn't that be something if the woman pulled it out in this huge battle war? I, I, Don't for so many people in this battle war. Never underestimate a woman, but remember, Mal Havoc is still there He's somewhere. A big guy. That's a big dude. That's a big dude. Bella. Getting ready to go over the top she rope. Go? She's out of this Bella's thing. been eliminated. She's out of this thing. He thinks he won it. <laughs> oh, man. He thinks he's won it. Uh, oh, Mal Havoc. Is, he was there. I told you Mal Havoc was not eliminated. Oh, he's just choking, choking him out. I think he's Joker. trying to kill him. Hey, you do anything you can to win a battle royal. Vicious oh. splash by Mal Havoc. Oh my God. Avalanche. Picks him up. Oh. oh. Nobody front gets up slam from that. by Nobody Mal gets Havoc. Up from that no way. way. That's like a fly on a windshield. Choking him out. This is choked by Mal Havoc. He's out cold. Mal Havoc not having any he just mercy. Suffocated him. Is he out cold? He's out. 
But he's still got to throw him over the top rope and to the floor. He's pointing. He's pointing to the top rope. I'm not saying he can't do it, but he's still got to do it. He wants to win this battle royal. Looks like the fans want him over there. These fans are crazy, I tell you. Look at that, isn't that the State Athletic Commissioner back there? Watch it over the best? I have no clue. Uh-oh. He's out of this thing. Looks like Mal Havoc has won the CCW Battle Royal. And I've seen a lot of Battle Royals in my day, Mike, and i got to be honest with you. That was one of the better Battle Royals. I totally and wholeheartedly agree. It's hard to catch it all at one time, but I'll tell you what, that's the beauty of Battle Royals. Well, let's see what Mal Havoc has to say. Now that is how you open a show. And you see, I'm here to teach every one of you sinners a valuable, valuable lesson. Salvation only comes at my hand. Bow by my side or die. Take my hand and be free. That was a little unsettling, nice. Hold on a second. Wow, salvation. Maybe I should go see Mount Havoc. Maybe I'll have my, my soul set free. <laughs> Great battle royal. Here at CCW's, how about some hardcore? Oh, Mount Havoc suffocating the Jesus out of this guy. No mercy by Mount Havoc. He's just laying him out too, man. Just... And here comes Leaving the people unconscious. Like, get him yeah, out of here. Man, Take him to the hospital. Somebody get a medic. Ladies and gentlemen, CCW's How About Some Hardcore. Well, right now, I have to go take care of some personal business, but right now, joining us, my other broadcast colleague, Mr. Magnificent, Mac Dahmer. We got one half of the frat boys coming down here. We got A-Rom and... Uh, it's going to be a great matchup here at How About Some Hardcore. Absolutely, folks. Uh, nice to join you here. This is Magnificent Mac Dahmer here, trying to tell you what's going on in the ring, and uh, we're going to let you know. This is Aaron right now coming down. He's actually formerly a tag team wrestler. Normally he's a tag team wrestler, even. Uh, it was a very uh, well-known tag team. Um, him, him and his partner, JTAT, right now, are uh, tearing up the indie scene, and it's fantastic to watch them perform. You know what's great about the frat boys, Mike, is those guys just love to fight on the streets. You know, sure they go do. to the college towns and they, they'll rough you up. They'll come for your ladies, you know what I mean? And here comes his opponent, another well-known star from the independent circuit, J.T. Funk. We like some funk around here in Pennsylvania. If you didn't know. This guy can sure go. Should be a fantastic encounter. So we have Aaron and JT Funk going one on one right now at CCW. How about some hardcore? Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a treat today. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be called this match. Back. It's a great match. I'm excited to be here and see this myself. Thanks, Rick. He's charismatic so much man. before the match, you know. I, I hope he remembers to get in there and he's going to be wrestling. 
I know some of these guys, man, you know, they live for the funk and they die for the funk. Yeah, JT's one of them. He certainly has been known to uh, get down in the, in the rings and in the nightclubs as well. Tremendous matchup on hand here. Capacity crowd here. You know, the fans here in Marysville, uh, they love some CCW, and it's always a pleasure to see CCW come through Marysville. It's always a pleasure to see the Marysville fan. Marysville just likes a good fight, and CCW will give you plenty of those. That's why we do what we do. Crowd sincerely behind JT, it sounds like, early. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look past A-Ron, though. I mean, the man is now in singles competition. We know his tag team capabilities, but now in singles competition, we're about to see exactly how he can go. You know, some of the best wrestlers of all time started off in tag team wrestling. You know, guys like Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Hart Foundation and the Rockers are two of the classic teams for sure. And on their way is the frat boys right now. But tonight, singles competition. Aaron JT's Funk going one on one. Bell's room. Ready. Clapping for the, for the guys. Up. Aaron's just not ready yet. He wants to make this guy think about this. It's all psychological games, you know? Psychological warfare out yeah, there. Absolutely right. Physical game of chess. Some wrestlers do well by keeping the motion going, and some guys like to just, you know, turn it down a couple notches and just wear you out on the mat. Absolutely. So, I think with this one, though, I think I think we're going to see a lot of, uh, I think it's going to be a good technical wrestling match, to be honest with you, Matt. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Not this guy again, the state athletics commissioner. This guy shut down the show last year. Hey, he's an authority. I wouldn't mess with that guy. He's an authority. Well, authority or not, you know, we want to see a wrestling show, and if this guy ain't going to let it happen, uh, we might have a little situation. Collar and elbow tie-up. Here we go. Head box. Nicely done. Oh, Kip up. Beautifully done. JT Funk. Headlock applied. Off the ropes. Feeling the funk. Absolutely, he is feeling the funk tonight. Whoa, wow. what a move. Athletic exchange here. Try yeah. headlock takeover. Nice now he's just, yeah, he's just gonna wear him out right now. Put the elbow underneath the chin, just start cranking back and you know. Yeah. Ooh. That looked like a dirty move right there from Aaron. He might have bit him. Oh, it takes him down. Now he has the uh, pressure applied. He gets to regain his composure while JT Funk is losing his composure and underneath. Give him some nuggies. Ooh. Insult to injury. It doesn't feel good to get a nuggie. I mean, it, you know, some, some people would rather, you know, get punched in the face and get a nuggie. Those people are crazy. I would take the noogie over a punch in the face from either of these gentlemen. I don't like anybody touching the top of my head. Oh. Atomic drop, nicely done. Inverted atomic drop. Oh. One for the front, one for the back. Reverse on the Irish whip. Oh, beautiful swinging Huracan Rana. JT Funk gets him to the outside. And uh, Aaron needs to regroup out there for a little bit. He's looking for his partner to tag right now, and he's not there. JT Funk all, relentless, though. All about momentum. You see how it's just a constant cat and mouse game. Ooh. Nobody home. That hurts. It's to the top rope. Uh oh, he's JT been known to Funk. fly. Flying cross body from the top. One, two, and. Oh, I thought he had him. Close, but no cigar. Two out of three. The crowd is solidly behind JT Funk tonight. It's a charismatic young man for sure.
clothesline nicely done. Oof. Breaks him across the face with his boot. So, magnificent Mac Dahmer, I got a question for you, man. Let's so, hear it. I'd like to know who you think is going to win this matchup. Who, who's the odds on favor for you? Uh, knowing both of these competitors as well, uh, I'd say this is a pretty evenly based matchup right now. Um, I would say so too. I don't think I can call a winner at this moment. Uh, normally, I would think going into it that uh, JT Funk had the advantage, but Aaron has impressed me considerably this match. It's been back and forth. You can't call a winner. Who's going to win? I don't know. You know, if that's how you're putting it, I'm going to go with JT Funk on this one. You know why? Cause something he, about JT Funk, it's like, it's like he's got the, he's got the gift of God with him or something. He's got, he's got the fans with him, and uh, you know, the, the, the frat boy's attitude's changed over the last couple of years. You can, you can see the change in his attitude. Absolutely, and that's why I think that Aaron had the advantage going in, possibly because he'll, you know, he'll break a rule, he'll take advantage of a situation, he'll do those things. Whereas JT Funk tries to play it by the rules all the time. Well. Always appealing to that crowd, you know. But I, I, in, in this situation, I'm going with JT Funk if you're going with a -Ron. Back and forth matchup so far. Ooh, oh. double A style spine buster. Nicely done. That could be it. One, two, oh. A little bit of a slow count, if I don't say so myself. If he, as long as all the counts are that slow, I'm with it. But, you know, as long, you have to be consistent with the referee is my point of view on it. We need no Nick Patrick's here. Oh. Going downstairs on him, taking the wind out of him. JT Funk. Funking it up. Oh! Oh! Beautiful. That was a ghetto blaster, wasn't it? It was like almost like a running in Seguri of some sort. Yes. Yeah. Only a two right there. Two count. But he's getting closer. Crowd is Funk is lighting him up. The crowd is clearly behind him. And now. What's going to happen here? Uh-oh, running him towards him in the corner. Stinger splash misses. Oh. Big back body drop by Aaron. Beautifully done. Dumped him right on his back and head. That's one of those moves. It'll knock the wind out of you, but it'll also leave you seeing stars. I'll tell you that. Right now, he's uh, no partner to tag in. He's doing fantastic as a singles wrestler. Normally, it's the tag team, but uh, today, I'm impressed so far. Oh! That's wow. enough. Big drop kick. Caught him with the drop kick. And that'll do it. If he can cover him, if he can get over to him, but he's too beat up himself to get over to him right now. But yeah, both these guys, uh, dude, they, they might get counted out here. Counted down. It's been a tremendous athletic contest so far here. Oh, both men starting to stare. There we go. They're both up. Almost looked like a boxy match. Oh, flying elbow. Another one. And he's just, oh. Big right. right. Oh. Oh. Irish whip, reversal. Big close line. And a kip up. We thought he was out of it. He's up and he's dancing and kipping up. JT Funk might have this one well in hand. It's looking at his momentum right now. Oh. There it is. Big splash. It's got to be it. Running oh. neck breaker. Beautifully done. That's going to do that it, I think. One, two. Oh. Oh. Close, but no cigar. Only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades there, Rick Smooth. Close doesn't count. Back to square one right now. How about some hardcore? How about some great wrestling? Absolutely. Classic wrestling here. JT Funk up top. Top rope. Aaron sees up. He's up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. oh, what a smart move there. Wow. I don't think he meant to do that. I think he just slipped when he stood up and pushed the poor ref into the ropes. And what an accident, but it's a shame for JT Funk. Wow. There it is. A Running me. Going for it. Wait a minute. Two, three, that's wow. it. Wow. Running me to the dome. He's out like a light. A run of the Frat Boys singles competition success story tonight. 
And your winner, A. Aaron. Hard to get this man out of the frat, but I'll tell you what, when he comes out, he's ready to fight. Absolutely. Excellent maneuver. He used the referee to his advantage there. Knocked the man down. Fantastic. Big win. Big win. And uh, he's moving on into singles competition in a good way. Absolutely. I was impressed by that one. Big win here for A-Ron of the Frat Boys. Win of the ring first. Hailing from the in-between. Weighing in at 700 souls. They are the Apocalypse. Prince Shango and Jorian Black. Whoa. Look at this team. This is a terrifying tag team. There's a hush in the arena right now. Two guys that you do not want to run into in a back alley in Marysville. Oh, no way. The macabre apocalypse. Prince Shango, bulletproof Dorian Black. Look at the size of Dorian Black. Oh, these are mammoth men. And they are bad dudes. I would not mess with these guys. These are the kind of guys you don't want to get wrapped up with. Uh, I, I, I think our crowd here tonight is terrified as I am, Rick Smooth. Imagine what kind of stuff goes on in these guys' hotel rooms late at night, you know? Hey, man, that's why the magnificent Mac Dom does not go into these uh, kind of matches. I'm afraid, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Doria Black coming it over the top. Oh, what a giant. Holy smokes. What a monster. Coming straight from Ghetto's Paradise. Here we go. I told her i They weigh in tonight at 520 pounds. This is Lobo Loco and Delicious. The All right. One of the best tag teams in CCW history right here, the Dog Pound. Very excellent tag team from the Indies right here. Delicious, Lobo Loco, the Dog Pound. Yeah, these guys, these guys kind of always reminded me of like a classic WCW tag team, and it's really nice to see these guys out here today. It's been a while since I've seen these guys wrestling together. I know Delicious was doing his thing as a singles competitor for uh, the last couple years, I believe it was. Uh, they need each other, these two. They work better as a team. It's like peanut butter and jelly. You can have one without the other, no good. Well, I don't know if it's no good, Mike, but, back, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I think these guys have already done it all as tag teams. It's just amazing to see them come back together. Yeah. Uh, excellent tag team. Going up against the huge Apocalypse team. They weigh 700 souls. Did you hear that? 700 souls. I don't even want to know what that means, Mac. <laughs> means these are bad dudes. Look at this. And Shago going to be started off with Delicious here. And uh, the Marysville, you know, they love the dog pound. They, if there's one thing about this place that I know is that, you know, when Delicious comes out, man, everybody's, you know, barking and, and cheering and having a good time. And Delicious is a, a serious fan favorite here and CCW legend. Well, there's no, uh, no blaming. The crowd is a smart crowd, and they know that these men, look at this. Uh, you got to search these guys, man. They're dangerous guys, but you know what? The people love them. The people sure do. And the people aren't wrong. People are always right. They know. But they assume the position down there on the floor. You think that's something they've had to do before? <laughs> I think they've had a lot of practice with that, Mike. Matt. And the crowd barking it up. they very supportive of the dog pound, as the smooth man said. And I think the crowd is just scared of Apocalypse. I would be... What's he I doing? Saw Prince Shango last time I was in New Orleans. Oh boy. What are they doing some of the voodoo stuff to you? 
Yeah, down there, you know, you walk into an arcade, you see a guy like that. <laughs> I don't think you see guys like Prince Shango everywhere. I don't know. And the near seven foot Dorian Black on the outside. Not only is he seven foot, but he's also bulletproof. There we are, lock up, center of the ring, collar and elbow tie up. No clear advantage right now, even strength, clean break. Well, now, now you pissed him off. You don't want to mess with that mask. I'm surprised we're seeing scientific wrestling. Nobody's doing any uh, underhanded tactics. Because we know, we know that the Dog Pound can wrestle. We're not sure if the Apocalypse team can wrestle. We know they can fight. We don't know if they can wrestle. That's the, that's the question. Well, the thing is with those guys is they have a lot of experience in beating the crap out of people. So it doesn't really matter if they can really get down and technically wrestle. But to be honest with you, Shango's been around a while. He can wrestle. You know what I mean? Dorian okay. Black is ready just to throw you through a wall. You know? Absolutely. Now, taking care of him here. Delicious. He's ready. And the big man wants in. The big man's getting in. Run. Delicious was sitting there like he was about to get a frisbee from somebody. You know? <laughs> is what, it, this is what dogs do, you know? He just steps over the top rope. This guy is enormous. The camera doesn't do justice to the size. You got to come out live to the shows, folks. You got to see this man up close. He is a sight for sore eyes. He stands out in the crowd, let me tell you. You'll know who he is right when you walk in the door. A guy you see at a carnival, isn't he? <laughs> Not even. What a freak show. Tell you what, my advice right now, if I'm talking to uh, Delicious right now, all right, tag out. That's one smart move. Tag in Lobo Loco. My second piece of advice: run. Just run. There's no shame in it. This man is huge. Nobody will think less of you. Get the heck out of Dodge. Going after the feet. That's a smart move. Trying to rock the giant down. Well, because he's not going to beat him in a strength matchup. He's got to use his speed and quickness to have any shot. Very smart. And now look at that. The, Prince the, Shango the tags in. Out and Shango's in. Shango wanted it. Oh. oh. And. Shango. Oh. Beautiful throw. Lobo Loco tags into his partner. Now the dog pound doing what they do best. The double team. Here it comes. Around the cr oh, right in the face. Beautifully done. Loco sets him up. Delicious knocks him down. You know, it's a dog eat dog world out there, Matt. You know, sometimes you got to get in there <laughs> and just work them over as a team. You know, like two dogs from the neighborhood. You know, just Rick Smooth, I think, I think you're going to work in about 75 dog references in this match, and I love it. Keep the puns coming. I'll throw you a bone. That was another dog rap. I don't know if people know this about Rick Smooth, but Rick Smooth's favorite rap group of all time is the Dog Pound. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the... Oh, throws him in the ring. The seven-footer. There ain't no party we'll talk like about a Dog Pound party because a Dog Pound party don't stop. All right. Back to the in-ring action. I don't know what that is. Beautifully done by Prince Shango. Takes him to the mat. Showing signs of... Two and... Ron no. Yeah, it was nicely done. I'll give you that. This guy can wrestle. I was wrong earlier. I thought he was a brawler. This man, Shango, has been wrestling. Using submission holds. And the dog pound's in trouble here. Your favorite team's in trouble there, Rick Smooth. Every dog has their day. Now he gets him. Now, in the ropes. Oh. Rubbing his face on it. And now, now the double team yeah, is that on. That bother me too, you know. Double team is on. There needs to be. That I didn't, didn't look like just a chokehold. That looked like she was doing something around his, the back of his neck. Did you see that? It's not safe. It, it, you know how I've always been saying this. I've been saying this for years, Rick Smooth. There needs to be two officials for these type of matches. There's just too much action going on for one man to officiate fairly. You need to have two officials, one on the inside, one on the outside. I'm working over the midsection of Delicious. The pit. Proof Dorian Black. What a monster. Oh. Chops him down to size. 
He can move for a big man too, guys. He is huge, he is fast, and he will knock your lights out. Chucking him into the corner now. Effortlessly. Oh, just knees him in the gut. That knee weighs a couple hundred pounds. And ain't nothing too tasty about these hits. They're delicious. Get it? Taste delicious? He's in trouble right now, though, folks. Throws him into the corner. Oh, my goodness. A good look right there at Bulletproof Jory in black. You'll be seeing him on uh, Monday nights or Wednesday nights sometime in the future, I bet. Uh, He's headed Jory for things. black around 350. Yeah, I'd, I'd put him up there. He's a big guy. He has to go to the truck stop to get weighed. That's what they do. Normal guys, they got to go to the truck stops. Gorilla Monsoon used to. And he's gonna tag. Him. Prince Sean now. He is. See, that's the thing with these guys. You know, you think you think somebody else is coming in, maybe you get a breather. That's not the case, man. These guys are bad dudes. Non-stop action, man. You're right. It's kind of a uh, interesting. To see, it's assault. It's definitely an assault. You called that one right. It's an assault right here. See, why weren't these guys, you know? shaking down like the other guys. Do you think that they were picking on the dog pound? Yeah, I think it has something to do with uh, they've been getting it for years in the, you know, the, the race, sheet. The, the institution and everything. It's a, uh, oh, and now Sean goes. You guys can't go it. anywhere without some kind of harassment. Right? This apocalypse team, I'll tell you what, they are terrifying. Sean go with the mask. Dorian Black with presence. It's just, the kids here are terrified. Referee, get in there. Look at this. The Chief oh. slaps him. Unbelievable. They're beating him. Do they need to really cheat at this point? Oh, and he didn't shove him right off the mat. And poor Lobo Loco. There it is. Elbow dropped to the knee. Referee getting in there to check to make sure everything's okay. I gotta say, Delicious has been taking a beating in this match. Yeah, Delicious is taking a licking and continue to continue, but the problem with uh, Delicious is uh, he's been getting his finger licking butt whipped right now. Oh! Shango takes all that mess and drives it into his front chest. All right, getting in there to help. I, I don't blame him. Lobo Loco interfered, and they need something. And now you got, they didn't even tag. I didn't see a tag, did you? They no, just, I didn't. yep. Okay. That's, that's classic tag work right there. You know? Tell you what, the big man's in there. Look at this, headbutt. Ugh. If you don't wait for the referee, you can do more damage. Oh, knee to the face. <laughs> getting hit in the. There we go, but where is the ref? There it is. Oh, One, wait a two. minute. Wait a minute. What's, what's a going minute. on? Not Who's the this? Data Athletic Commissioner. Let's hear it. What? You know, I, I almost got into it with this guy. Uh, what's going on? Ago. I don't know if you know that or not. But. I don't know what's going on here. Now I'm confused. Dorian Black has the match in hand. Bulletproof Dorian Black. He can do just about anything he wants, it looks like. Nothing can take this man down. Apocalypse in control of the matchup. Wouldn't count the dog pound though. They've had a uh, ton of victories to their name when people have counted them out before. Oh! The free almost got drilled. Uh, problem is though, he's in the wrong corner there, Rick Smooth. He's in the wrong corner. No, he's in the wrong place. He's in the wrong part of town for sure. That's what they're doing. They're cutting the ring in half. They're sizing him up and keeping him in their side of the corner and in their side of the ring, in their corner, giving him. Delicious has got to get out of it. Yeah, he needed a tag about five minutes ago. And up in the scope slam. What a slam. Throws him to the mat with ferocity is this Prince Yango, who has impressed me so he is far. A freak. Oh, yeah. Just look at that mask. That's not a normal man underneath there. That's a lunatic. Yeah, yeah. Normal people don't act like this. No, they don't look like that either. Oh! There's nobody home. Delicious is going to try and mount the comeback. Pennsylvania jam, leg drop misses. 
now it's a race to the corner. Who's going to get to their man first? Crowd's hoping for the dog, the delicious man, to get to his corner tag in Lobo Loco. But I don't know. I, he doesn't know where he is there. He doesn't even know. Tag oh, is made. Tag. Lobo Loco. But look who he gets. He gets Dorian Black. Oh. Everybody, Dorian Black. Dorian Black wasn't ready. Now it's a double team. Ref, get control in there. You got all four men in there. Yeah, how's that ref going to get control of these guys? <laughs> You're right. You're going to need a SWAT team to get control of these guys. I concede that point. Oh, boot to the face. Lobo Loco hits the mat. Dorian Black can, take the, can change the momentum just like that. Shut up, stay All he's got to do is just stand there. What are you going to do? How can you move him? Guy with a size like that, you're right. How, how do you defeat outside. him? That's not where you want to be with bulletproof mm. Dorian Black. Right hand. And look at this guy. Look at the crowd. They just cower in fear around this guy. He's huge. They look like little babies around him. Here he comes. Delicious. What's he going to do? Oh! Whoa! He just rocked the big man. Beautiful toe pay to the outside. This Nicely done. This is why done. the Dog Pound have done so well here in CCW. They know how to work as a team. Our referee's counting. All four men are outside. They better... Shango's out there, bro. They better... Somebody better get back in there. This, this, this ain't going to end. Ladies and gentlemen, one half of the frat boys here, J-Cat, breaking off into singles competition. And uh, it's going to be a good match today. I can't wait to see this. Look at this. The crowd is already all over J-Cat here tonight. He's an uh, excellent uh, technician in the squared circle. He normally teams up with his uh, tag team partner. The frat boys is the name of the tag yeah, team. A-Ron. A-Ron and uh, the frat boys is what they go as. They're all over the NDC in these days. Man, I thought the streamer guy was going to get in his face right there. That was crazy. Hey, man, the crowd does not like this guy. They do not like the tag team. They are all over him. It's so nice to be back here in Marysville, Pennsylvania for some more Pennsylvania wrestling here with CCW. How about some hardcore? Ladies and gentlemen, it is opponent. He hails from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's weighing in tonight at a slim, a trim, 260 pounds. He's led to the ring by the Violent Vixen. This is Ricky Hernandez. This is one of your guys, isn't it, Matt? Absolutely. This is one of my favorite up-and-coming wrestlers right here. Uh, Ricky Hernandez, he's a product of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is a town very near and dear to my heart. And uh, this guy right here... You'll be seeing him for years to come. One-on-one -on -one tonight against j -Cat. This should be a fantastic matchup. There he is. There he is, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Hernandez, straight out off the streets of Philadelphia. He's a big boy, too. Imagine running to this guy on Broad Street at 3 in the morning. Holy yeah. smoke. Got to watch out for him at all the local Wawa's. <laughs> That's a Philadelphia reference for those who don't know. My choice, my Wawa. Very big fan favorite here, Ricky Hernandez. Uh, the crowd is eating this kid up. 80's on him over there. He's a big uh, up-and-coming talent right now. His hair, I like his hair. <laughs> Referee searching. J-Cat right now. Wouldn't be above him to have a uh, weapon hidden in his shoe or something like that. He's known to cheat. This referee's ready to get it on. <laughs> and one, here's the bell. Let's, let's hook him up, guys. Crowd solidly behind Ricky Hernandez out of Philadelphia tonight, huh? Who do you got in this one, Mac? Hey, uh, this could be a good back and forth matchup, but to be totally honest with you, as much as I like Ricky Hernandez in Philadelphia, uh, I think that the veteran leadership of uh, J-Cat will shine through in this one. 
J-Cat's been wrestling a while, and Ricky Hernandez is pretty new. Uh, Ricky Hernandez has gotten in there with some pretty big guys, though, right off the bat. Ricky Hernandez is no is no slouch in that square circle. I don't say that lightly, that it's that uh, I think the J-Cat will defeat him. It could be anybody. It's a coin flip at this point. Side, uh, it's got him in an uh, arm lock right now. Reversal nicely done. Now the pressure is on to J-Cat. Wrenching his shoulder. Oof. Oh, you roll it out of it. I rake. See, that's what you do. You get this great technical wrestling, and Jay Cat has to rake him in the eyes. Use a dirty tactic. That's right up your alley there, Rick Smooth. That reminded me of Robert Gibson. <laughs> Crowd chant Ricky like that. Yes, memories for sure. Big right. We love the Rock and Roll Express here in Pennsylvania, if you did. They love them everywhere. Oh. And see, I love how Jay Cat's a veteran instinct. He waits until the referee gets to the four count until he releases the hold. He doesn't get out after a one or a two. He uses every second, squeezes the pain into Ricky Hernandez. Referee, get in there. Do your job. He's in there. He's doing his job. Referee's got to watch himself in there, though, man. I know he's a little bit of a hothead, but he, he might get a right every now and then or a left. <laughs> he's not careful with elbow to the knock them glasses. J-Cat's doing a uh, pretty fantastic right now. He's normally a tag team wrestler, and he is not wrestling in a tag team and still doing pretty well. Big shot. I'm impressed. I'm excited for all this good wrestling here in Marysville tonight. Absolutely. Got good wrestling right here. Ooh. Oh, you can even hear those videos at home, folks. Missed it. Holy smokes. Big oh! to the back. The, the arena echoes, reverberates with the sound of flesh on flesh. Brutal. And J-Cat's trying to get Hack out of there. He's looking for his partner to tag. You're all alone, pal. Ricky Hernandez, excellent show. An Irish whip off the ropes. Big hip toss. Nicely done by the rook. Oh, get him, Ricky. Close line. Hernandez has a little bit of a size advantage in this one. I'm trying to think who he reminds me of. Big scoop slam. I sit down. Crowd solidly behind him. Leg drop. Oh. Missed off. He caught him with that. Ooh. Double drop kick to the head. One, two, and close. All right. It's a great matchup so far. Look at this. J-Cat toying with the crowd right now. He's saying, cheer for your man. Cheer for your man. I'll still beat the tar out of him. Boom. Ball should have right in the fro. Pulled him by do? the hair. That can't feel good. Big oh. right. Caught him right in the side of the head. Another one. Hernandez looks in trouble. He looks dazed. Here he comes. Irish whip. No, reversal. J-Cat whip. He hits hard. Stinger oh. splash. Beautifully done. Boom. And Hernandez. Boom. Oh, you can feel the momentum. Squashes him like a pancake. Again. Oh, oh too smart. Rolls, Rolls him up. up. One, Got the two, the ropes. three. Oh. Full of the ropes. Handful Referee of tights. Referee didn't see it. J-Cat. Beautifully no. done. It was like you were saying. It was, it was a better move. Underhanded tactics prevail. He wins the match by cheating. But the winner of the match by pinfall, J-Cat. Look at that. That one half of the frat boys. Victorious J-Cat tonight. Handful of tights. Foot on the ropes. I didn't see it, though. It doesn't matter. All the record book says is a win for J-Cat. Oh! They're still going at it's it. It's not over yet. Referee is, is, is getting out of there, but it looks like these guys want to keep going. J Cap might have won the battle, but Hernandez is trying he's to win the war. It is earpiece, the referee. I don't know. Maybe he's getting a call about something. I don't know. What's going on here? I'd call that a sore loser from Hernandez. The guy from Philly attacked him after the bell. He lost fair and square, but it was a great match.
Guys, ready for this one? This is going to be nasty. It's a match we've all been waiting for. S steel oh, chair man. From Chicago, Illinois. He weighs in at 365 pounds. Please welcome to the ring, Marvelous Malcolm King. One of the biggest guys in CCW on their roster today. Yeah, 365 this guy weighs in at. Oh, he's a big, big boy. Half Malcolm, half King. The Windy City Bad Man right here, folks. Chicago's finest. Crowd likes this guy too, man. He, he wants him up. This is going to be a brutal match. Tell he's in one of his good moods today. If this Sometimes he ate that nice. Well, he's going to be swinging a steel chair in a couple minutes. We got a steel chair match coming up, folks. Steel chair rules. The crowd's been waiting for this one all night. It's going to be brutal. Rick Smooth calling the action here. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent. With me, Matt Hello, Donald. Hello, Valley, California. He weighs in at 280 pounds. The unpredictable, precious, Petey. Another real tough SOB. Here we go. This contest will be held under Precious Petey. Steel chair rules. There steel it is. Chair rules. The steel chair rules, folks. You know that, what that means. That means steel chairs are legal. Not only legal, encouraged in this match. Encouraged to smack a man with a steel chair. This is barbaric. This is brutal. This is hardcore. On his way to the uh, ring right now. Precious, Petey, Noxious. The unpredictable one himself. He's a uh, champion. Brings the belt to the ring with him. I'm sure this man wrestled in a lot, you know, excellent matches and won uh, some excellent matches before. He's bringing his uh, best friend that steel chair with him too. This is going to be brutal. Crowd getting on him for the baby belt? That looked like a real nice championship to me. Sure, it was hard earned. Precious Petey's a tough individual. Precious oh, Petey's sneak attack. And he's coming at Malcolm King. Beautifully. Right hands. Precious Petey all over him to start. And he was hitting them pretty good there. Oh, Malcolm King into the corner. Precious Petey. Oh. oh no. the Malcolm matter. with a big right. A big right. Here comes. Throws him. Beautiful. Can't toss. Precious Petey up and down. Oh, Got the chair. Oh, up, and he gets out of dodge. Precious Petey playing it smart right there. That's what you do. You get the 365 pounder swinging a steel chair. That's like a lethal weapon. In a match like this, it's really anything goes. We've seen a lot of them matches in our day, haven't we? Absolutely. Hardcore matchup right here for sure. How about some hardcore? Nothing King hit with the end of that chair, taking the wind right out of the big man. Goes right in. Brings another chair into the ring. I thought this was a steel chair match. I didn't know. How many chairs are they going to use? This is already getting out of hand. He's got two of them. Might take two Wham. of them. Get the big man down. You can hear the crack of that throughout the arena. You got to be here, folks. You see things like that when you're here. You can hear the uh, amplification of the bot. Oh! Oh! Yeah, come on down to the arena, folks. Anywhere where you see, uh, how about some hardcore wrestling? And uh, we will put on a show for you. Precious Petey putting on a show right now, choking him with the chair. Amazing that the state of athletic commissioner won't shut something like this down, though. You know what I mean? He's out there lurking around in the crowd doing his thing, but he's just going to allow these guys to just 
beat the crap out of each other with chairs. Hey, I wouldn't get in there with either of these two men. The big man uh, from the Windy City and uh, P.D. Noxious is known as being unpredictable. They might, you know, I wouldn't get in there with either of these guys. I don't blame you. He's using anything he's got to try to hit that oh, kick, but he reversed I, it. Oh. Oh. He'll be singing the high notes tonight. Malcolm King, oh. close line. Big man, one, two. Oh, two count only. Noxious kicks out. This match, I don't think a match like this can last very long with these uh, behemoths swinging chairs at each other. I don't think we're going for the for the Broadway tonight. 60 minute flare steamboat. This is not. Oh! Slams him. Precious Petey. I tell you what, man. Precious Petey's a lot tougher than his name says. You know what I mean? He's a tough guy. Man. He's unpredictable. That's what he is. You never know where he's coming from. He's all over you. He's got you a lot of pent-up aggression. Absolutely. He's taking it all out on uh, the man from Chicago right now. Malcolm King. Big Malcolm. Getting his leg forks over. Smart move by Petey again. Putting, working the legs over. The big man can't get up, can't swing a chair, and knock him in the head with it. Smart move. With some of these bigger guys, you got to just do whatever you can to get them off their feet, you know? Oh, yeah. Keep especially, them off their feet. Especially in a matchup like this where the goal of the match is to not get smacked in the face with a steel chair. Rolls him up. One, him up. two. Oh. That was a little bit closer to three than I think uh, Noxious would have liked, you know? Precious Petey there almost uh, got beat. But back in control now. Magnificent. I wanted to w ask you this, man. What is it that you know makes you so magnificent? You know, how are you gonna go around calling yourself that? I'll tell you why. Uh, you know what? I've been around the block. I've seen around the block. I'm coming to your block. So when I get there, watch out, Mac Dahmer, coming at you. But anyway, Mac Dahmer, Rick Smooth on commentary. Precious Pete. Elbow drop, nicely done. Malcolm King taking a beating. Precious Petey in control. Another one. Running elbow drop. Looks like the big man might have ran out of gas. Uh, two. Two count. Would you say, uh, would you like to say that Malcolm King maybe is in the winded city tonight? He looks a little winded, man. But he's from Chicago, get it? Windy city, winded city. Nobody's going to appreciate that. I won't make jokes anymore. I appreciate your humor, your humor back, Dauber. Let's get back to the match. Big right. Whip. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal. Getting the big man. Oh, oh, my goodness. His arm hit the chair, and the chair flew 10 feet. Beautifully done. Oh, no. Petey's got him. Got him. Precious Petey, what's he going to do with him? No, wait a minute. Reversal. Boom. Look at that. Malcolm King with the cutter maneuver. The Malcolm cutter. From the mean streets of Chicago. Malcolm King taking it. Precious Petey Noxious. This has been brutal matchup tonight here. Smooth, hasn't it? Sure has been. And, and to be honest with you, seeing these guys pick up these chairs like this, it's a little frightening. I'm concerned for both of their uh, well-being. Oh, Somebody stiff. might get stretchered out of here. Uh, oh, just punching each other right in the face. This is New Japan stiff. Wait a minute. Oh, oh man. Got him with some of it, but hold up. Wait a minute. Unprotected chair shot to the head. Oh. That was enough to stop. Oh, God. Oh, oh man. It's got to be it. Two, in. three. You could have counted to 50, ref. Man got walloped in the head with a chair. Good effort from Petey, but Malcolm King was too much. And he wins the belt. Malcolm King. Mm -hmm. Malcolm King just showed you what black power is all about.
Yeah, he had some power and he took it all out on Petey and he won the belt. Malcolm King is the champion. Precious Petey Noxious though. He looked pretty good in defeat. That poor that guy got nailed in that matchup and he nailed some good shots himself on him. It was beautifully done. Somebody get a medic. Yeah. And the crowd appreciating the effort of Malcolm King and these and his opponent. This matchup uh, was not for the faint of heart. Stiff, you think so? The man from Hill Valley can barely walk back. Holy smokes! And Malcolm King, he's gonna be—he's gonna be uh, in the steam room or in the ice bath all night tonight. You look at him—he's in trouble too. It's this match was brutal. This man, this man gave it all for it. Good one today. We got General Kiesel versus Top Shelf Tyler Sims at CCW. How about some hardcore? Licking my chops for this one, Rick Smooth. I've been waiting for this matchup all night. This is going to be a fantastic battle. There's a grudge match right here. This is going to be fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see a good, uh, a good old fight, and I think that's what we're going to see in this one. And we got two tough guys going at it with each other. This is Top Shelf right here. Top Shelf Tyler Sims. And he's one bad dude. Yeah, you got, you got Z Cobra out there too. You gotta watch this guy, man. This guy will go into your back pocket and steal your wallet out without even you realize. Make sure we're all. Ah, this is this is it. This is the beauty of indie wrestling right here. There's a buzz in the arena. The fans are excited for this one. This is gonna be a beautiful contest. So Mac, who's your pick in this one? It's hard to tell, uh, obviously. These are two very even strength wrestlers, a grudge match, and uh, they're both huge men. Uh, the advantage, I would say, is to none of them, and either they're both going to get hurt in this one and beating the tar out of one another. But if uh, I agree with you on that one. I think, I think that they're going to really beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm not in there with either of them. They could both beat me up, Rick Smooth. I'm glad I'm calling the match out here with you, buddy, and not in the squared circle with either of these guys. Referee Ian Short's gonna have his hands full of this one. I don't know. I don't know if he's capable of keeping these guys in line. I don't think you could have the uh, battalion of the army in line. I couldn't keep these two men in line. You could have tanks, and these, this is gonna be a great one. Two bulls gonna lock horns. Somebody needs to give that ref a haircut. <laughs> General Kiesel versus Tyler Sims, one-on-one. -on -one. The bell has rung. The Cobra out there. Looks like he's plotting on someone. There we go. General Kiesel locks up with him. Collar and elbow tie up. Arm ringer. Top shelf Tyler Sims advantage. Oh, and he grabs the hair. Goes for the hair. One way out of that hold. Not the uh, sportsman kind of way, but it's one way out of it. Hey, man, when you get in there and you get into a jam, sometimes these guys are just reacting. You're right. All that's remembered is our wins and losses. It doesn't remember who, how many times they cheated. I don't know about that one, Matt. It's all wins and losses. Going for that hair again. He's taking him into the corner now. Referee, get in there. Do your job. One, two. And... Uh, Ref's doing the best he can with these two behemoths in there. Look at this poor little ref compared to these two men. Yeah, I'd be a little cautious in there too if I was there. Take it easy on him there, Rick Smooth. He's got a tough job. Lock up. Jamie Kiesel with the advantage. Mm. Top shelf going for the hair and it's just, oh. it's just not there. Look at that. 
Pulls Beard. Oh! oh. He heard it. The crowd called it. He did it. Oh! Top shelf slams him to the mat. Beautifully done. Sometimes you're in there and you're just so focused that you're not even hearing the crowd. Sometimes you hear the crowd and it's to your advantage because you can, <laughs> if the crowd's rooting for you, you hear something good they say. Absolutely. The crowd can certainly influence matches, and they often do. See Cobra talking to his man over there, trying to uh, talk some sense into him. He's getting out of Top Shelf's way. Oh, he missed with the elbow. Top Shelf outsmarted him. Again. And Top Shelf back in the ring. What's he going to do? Hip toss. Nicely done. Nice. Technical wrestling moves here. What? Kiesel doesn't want any. Oh, oh, it was a trick. A. Low blow by General Keese. That might have been a little low. I don't know. That wasn't fair. They'll be singing the high notes tonight, Matt. You can't call that a fair move there, too. If he wins on that, oh, thank goodness. Still in this one. General Keys, although. Dirty underhanded move. Low blow. You can't do that. That's there's there's not many rules in pro wrestling, and you just broke one of them. I know, it's already such a violent sport. You right? know, why, why do you gotta go breaking rules, you know? Darn right. Oh four on to the face, man. These two guys just don't like each other, and you can tell. He might have just took out his whole row of teeth. Oh. Got him in the corner now, knee to the back of the neck. Look at this, Z Cobra getting his shots in there with the cane, just choking him. Turn around, ref, turn around. Why are you not seeing choke, this? But he's also using the rope. Oh. If he, what a cheater. Oh, Tyler Sims, a tough fighter. I'll give him that. He's fighting three guys out there tonight. He's fighting the wrestler, his opponent, his manager, and the ref. Odds against Tyler Sims tonight. Did you see that right? Sims doesn't know where he is. He that. doesn't know where he is right now. He's in La La Land. Oh! Forearm to the face. Now he's choking him. Man, Kiesel is relentless. Head is steep. Oh! Squashes him right in the corner. You know, when you get into the quarter, it's not like it's going to go anywhere. Uh, you're not going to go anywhere safe when you're in that quarter. You know uh, yeah, we're going to some dangerous territory right now, climbing the high altitudes. Here we go. Here we go. Both men up. This is not going to end well for one. Oh. Tyler Sims now fighting back. General Kiesel wobbly. He came to just in time. He was in trouble. Sims off the top rope. Elbow. Oh. Back elbow off the top rope. Right on the money. Right on the chin. Here we go, Irish whip off the ropes. Got him, got him rocket. Mm. Swinging neck breaker. A beautiful spinning neck breaker from General Kiesel. He had that one scouted. He's, he's been watching the tape. One. Oh, almost got him. Two and a half. Kiesel so far, I'd say, has had the advantage in this one. General Kiesel. Capacity crowd is solidly behind Tyler Sims in this one, though. We like top shelf here, but he's in trouble. And again, the referee. Turn around, ref. I was giving you a hard time for ragging on the stripes. Uh, he is not a good Whoa. ref. Nearly decapitated him. Throw first on the rope. <sighs> referee, get in there. Two count. Say what you will, this fight in this Tyler Sims so far has impressed me. Z Cobra is thugging it up outside. What a pest that referee, what he's been to uh, th that referee tonight. Oh, Kiesel setting him up for something. Is he? He's going to, oh, he's going to pound on him. You can feel that one. And a oh. headbutt. Oh. Big right. Forearm to the face. Wow. Elbow ducks it. Oh. 
Step up in Seguri running. Nicely done by top shelf Tyler Sims. Athleticism. He's a big man with some athleticism, as you can see. He's still in this one. Z Cobra, look at him, look at him. I'd look out for Tyler Sims right now. He General's in trouble. Oh. Caught him with that at, back elbow. At the last minute. Used the own van's momentum and ran him right into it. Holy. Kiesel close. Beautiful up. lariat takes him down to the mat. Kiesel just relentless on the attack. Z Cobra sure knows how to pick him, doesn't he? Looks like the boogie woogie man, Jimmy Valley in a little bit. That's Z Cobra. Kiesel oh, reverse him. What? Oh! Beautifully done. Excellent maneuver. Almost like a reverse Russian leg sweep type maneuver. Very nicely done. Yeah, into um, a flatliner, was it? Yeah, like a, almost like a canyon or a uh, Nova cane from Nova. Yeah, don't even know what to call it. Great move. Big right. No, Big no right. Here he comes. Oh! Nails him. Now making a comeback here, Tyler Sims. I thought it was over. The general's been crushing him. Not anymore. Max, hey. you get any hot dogs over at the uh, concession stand tonight? Hey, I had about four or five. Beautiful suplex. Nicely done. Two, three. Oh. Beautiful like move. Trash. I'm shocked that he's kicking out of this. Both men, a lot of punishment in there. Told you this was going to be a good one. Brutal action. Well, he says he's going he's gonna to go upstairs, right? Is the big man going to fly? What's he's he going to fly. Whoa. Oh. The Cobra pulls the rope out from under him. Or did he hit him with the cane? He I lost his see. balance, I think. He's got the ropes. That's Three. a count. Wow. General Kiesel wins by cheating. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, General Kiesel. Wow. Great victory tonight for General Kiesel. The referee hooked him on the ropes with his cane, made him fall off. Hits the mat. Kiesel puts his foot on the ropes just for a little bit more leverage. One, two, three. Winner of your match. This is General Kiesel, folks. They might have to start uh, bringing in that instant replay that they've been using in other wrestling organizations. Absolutely, man. That was a blatant case of cheating. If the referee uh, hadn't pulled his leg, who knows how this one would have ended. But in the record books here, it'll say General Kiesel with the win tonight. But we'll be seeing more of both of these young men in the future. What an honor. Tonight, fighting here in CCW, we have from television's Lucha Underground, Cortez Castro, the current Outbreak champion. We are, we are honored, we are graced to have this man in our presence. Smooth, this is an honor. This guy is a legend. One of the greatest wrestlers on the planet right now. I'm a huge fan of any kind of Lucha Libre kind of stuff or Lucha Underground stuff or Mexican wrestling in general. Uh, I, I think that this is going to be a great matchup, and he's got his hands full today with this man. Wow, Mr. Ping, the one, the only, the Tokyo's finest export. 325 and three-fourths 
a massive man, the Japanese sensation himself, Mr. Ping, live right here tonight in CCW. Mr. Ping has done it all here in CCW. He's been around a long time. He's well respected by the fans. The fans love him. Look at this guy. Who wouldn't love him? Absolutely. He is, uh, uh, the Japanese guy is definitely one of the uh, different, has the size advantage right now, but Cortez clearly has the wrestling advantage. He has wrestled all over the planet. He has been successful all over the planet. Yeah, I think this is actually a big match for both of these guys, you know, because he's been successful all over the place, and he's coming into a, a territory where he hasn't really been around very much, and this is Mr. Pig's, you know, this is his backyard. So, I, I mean, it's a, it's a big, crucial match for both people. Sure is, and it's even more crucial because it's the Outbreak title match. Well, when you're walking around with the Outbreak title, I mean, you got a bullseye on your back, so, I mean, these guys are gunning for him. Absolutely. Wouldn't that belt look good on Mr. Ping's mantle back home? I don't know if it can fit around that massive waist. You might have to get some extensions put in. The big guy from Tokyo. Locking him up with Cortez Castro. Referee Ian Short going to be referee in this one. It's an important match, a title match. So what do you think about the weight advantage here? We got a guy who is 325 and three quarter pounds full of sushi versus the man that's 195 pounds in Cortez, the, you know, Castro. It could well, look be- Look at him move. I mean, look at him. And he's, he's, he's moving around like he, uh, like he owns the building. Cortez. So I, I, I think he's a little quicker than, you know, the big man, but I, I, think, I think that both styles, you know, look at this, Mr. Pink can wow. go too. Mr. Ping's athleticism impresses me every time. You don't think a man his size can do some of these maneuvers, but... Mr. Yeah, he's one of the more agile guys here at CCW. At 325 pounds. But the world-traveled Lucha Underground superstar, Cortez Castro, back in control. If this thing's going to be a mat wrestling match, hands down, this is Castro's match. No way he's losing that kind of match. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, though, Pig can get technical, too. I mean, just keep watching him. I mean, you're going to see that, that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any technical wrestler. Ping is impressive. Wow, roll through. Nicely done. I am impressed. He's definitely hanging in there with the oh. wrestling of uh, Castro here. It's like he's just picking his weak points and just attacking Off the ropes. Un Whoa. Second rope, cross, body. See, that's what we're talking about. This guy, the big man, can do some moves that... Can fly. Oh, running knee strike to the head. You can hear that in the crowd. Here we go. It's vertical suplex nicely done. I'll tell you what, this title is, uh, this title's in jeopardy right now. Castro in some trouble. Two. The thing that people don't really understand about Mr. Pig is that this guy, you know... There's a lot I don't understand about Mr. Pig. Yeah, he, he, he's been trained by some of the best, and he, and he trains some of the best. People might not know that, but he, he, he's a trainer himself, and he can really kick some ass in there and, and do some things that get in there with some people you wouldn't want to normally get in there. Oh. Mr. Pig could take him out, no problem. I got to question the validity of Ping's Japanese ancestry. That's what I'm calling it a question here. Oh, nicely done by Castro. But I, I would willing to venture a bet that Castro's wrestled more matches in Japan than Ping has. Just my guess. Stomp by Castro. Chin lock by Castro. You know, with Ping, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, the Japanese culture just runs through him. I mean, you can just see it in him, you know? I, all I know about seeing stuff is uh, I've seen Cortez Castro on Lucha Underground. The man's a star of a television show. Lucha Underground, ever heard of it? Only one of the biggest wrestling programs on the planet. And he's the, one of the stars. And we're honored to have him here tonight. You can tell by the way that he gets around the ring that, I mean, he, he's, he's, he's on another level of Mexican wrestling. 
You know the way he the way he gets around. Oh, he, he knows all the styles. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, smooth. He can do any of the styles, not just the lucha libre style. He'll do your American smash wrestling. He'll do your Japanese to, uh, stiff wrestling. Yeah, you could tell. You could tell he's well cultured. Oh, he'll do the British cat wrestling. He can do it all. He could. He's all over the planet. It's fantastic. Quarter wrestling. pig bounces out. Wow. This is that momentum that we were talking about earlier. But once these guys start feeling it, it's hard to stand in their way. The veteran Castro should know not to run into the man that's 325 pounds. That's how a guy like Ping will put you away. He's got the power advantage. He's got the size advantage, the leverage advantage. Ping's got some advantages. Oh. Oof. You can hear those. Your guy better watch out. Wow. You can hear those chops, folks, all throughout the arena. When you're here live, it's unbelievable. Ping coming back in. Oh, double drop kick. What a matchup. CCW Live. It's an honor to be called this matchup with you, Matt. Absolutely here, Rick. We're doing great. Rick Smooth and Mac Dahmer here calling the action for you. If the pin gets whipped around like a... Oh. Uh. Steps on his face. After the snap, Mayor. Cortez. He's excellent. Having a hard time seeing it. Oh, Knee to the back. Spine. Oh, he works him over. Cortez Castro, he'll pick you apart like a hyena, bit by bit. He's loving this. This is a regular Saturday night for him. Referee, get in there. Check that choke. He's just clawing at his neck. Wearing him down one way or another. He's just... He's the big ping. elbow by Ping. Channeling some of his Japanese legends here, like the great Muda, Kenta Kobayashi. Kind of reminds me of Masada Tanaka. Oh! oh. Reminds me of Kenta Kobayashi for sure. Kenta Kobayashi and uh, very similar style. Shinya Hashimoto maybe. Oh. Running power slam. Shades of the British Bulldog right there, Davy Boy Smith. That was 325 pounds crashing on top of you as you're crashing into the mat. Double impact. Oh. Deep trouble here for Cortez Castro. Oh! He took his head off. Like a train rolling through. Oh! That was from the mean streets of Havana, Cuba, that right. Like a beautiful sunset in a Havana night. Irish whip. Oh. Step up in security. Oh, and running. Again. Beautifully done. And the cats out on the streets of Cuba. Absolutely. There oh. it is. Ball game. That's it. He Castro him. spun him inside out. One, two, three. No. Wow. The fight. He's got some fight. Yeah, the fight that Mr. Ping is commendable. Cortez Castro. Japanese spirit to him. He's ready to go, and he's not going to stop until you know. The, it, it's like a it's like a battle to the death. That's those Japanese samurai kind of battles that Ping is also familiar with. But he's in there with a real superstar in uh, Cortez Castro. This guy's no joke. Oh. Both men hurting. Cortez charges. Step up in Sugari by. Mr. Ping. Whoa! One, two, three. No. Uh, you can't get much closer than that. Call that? that was a sit down uh, spinning power bomb? That one, I don't even know what you'd even call that one. A ping bomb right a there. Ping bomb. He just uh, pinged him right there. Pinged him right into the mat. And I think uh, Cortez Castro is about to get ponged. Ping pong. International warfare here tonight, CCW. Cuba versus Japan. This is like E-Honda versus, you know. This is the kind of stuff that we grew up oh. watching back down at the ECW arena and, and seeing how the Japanese and the Mexican Splash. stuff would, would intertwine with some of the Tajiri super crazy matches, things like that. Absolutely. There we go. Oh, gets off of his back. Oh, uh, the referee. Oh, gets squashed. The referee gets hit, and he's down. That was brutal. 
Now the ref, come on. Getting yelled at by Mr. Ping. Here we go. Castro's up. Low blow. Ref saw nothing. Cortez Castro. DDT. And he goes for the cover. One, two, and the three. No, what? he got out. How in the world did he kick out of that one? What action here tonight. Long two. Crowd wants ping. But and up, uh, Cortez Castro gonna cheat and bring a steel chair. No. Short gets to a time. He just laid out. Vicious right hand. Castro's out. It only takes one punch from ping to lay you out on the outside concrete. Absolutely. There ain't any mats down there, folks. No cardboard to fall through on that one. This is brutal outside the ring action. Referees count. Oh! Kicked him right in the ass. That's a butt kicking. Seven count. They better hurry. This one could end. Title match. Ten. That's it. That was wrong. And your winner is neither man. Double count out. Double count out here. Man. What a mashup that was right there. This contest is a double count out. Wow. So the man from Cuba keeps the championship. He is the outbreak title holder still. Cortez Castro. an amazing show folks i hope you guys all enjoyed it but that's all the time we have tonight this is alan fenstermaker signing off here on top rope tv until next time keep your wrestling in headlock we'll catch you next time on top rope tv peace peace